Hi guys. Uh, I was hoping to be further along on this painting by now, but uh, it's been going slowly. Uh, I just thought I'd uh, uh, do another one quickly, just regarding the leaves. All the foliage is painted in now. Uh, I held off on putting any highlights on various leaves until the foliage was all, well, green. Then I started to make a few correction lines here and there. A bit of that will continue. You know, you're not seeing too many veins in, in for, you know, for example, this small leaf here. Uh, or maybe this one either. But, you know, that's, sort of, that's the sort of thing that, that as these leaves become more important, I will add a little more detail to them. But, you know, they were all, they were all green, and now I'm going into into my sort of last coat of paint and I've lightened up just a few spots here and there you know this leaf this stem as it just below the head this leaf to sort of help to enhance this sort of tumbling effect um, next I'm going to uh, be working on these 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 oranges and yellows on the petals uh, I'm not worrying about the centers of these two heads yet uh, we'll get to that in due time um, I'm really glad that I kept these toned down. You know, it's funny because you see, you see these colors against this. Here it's cobalt blue and, and uh, raw umber. Here it's cobalt blue and a bit of burnt sienna. And, you know, there are variations of that through the upper half of it. And we also have a lot of uh, ultramarine blue and yellow ochre. That's the, by far the prime color of all of these leaves. I've just added a little more white or a little more yellow ochre where I wanted them warmer and lighter, etc. Uh, so, so these really look orange. They're not. I have, at, at, at their most intense on these ones, not, not here and not here. But for the rest, it's all been yellow ochre and um, a hint of burnt sienna and in varying degrees of raw umber. So, you know, that on its own is actually a very subdued orange-ish looking color. But because, because it's against a very complementary green, they become orange, they look orange. Um, now I'm going to start, you know, the, the leaves are mostly, mostly highlighted. Uh, now I'm going to start adding some actual cadmiums uh, into my colors and doing away with the raw umber and only laying on a few strokes here and there that'll catch that'll catch uh, some light uh, that will truly become more yellow and more orange in color um, when you're washing th you know these colors in on, on a white canvas they look so dark they look dirty but once you have your entire canvas colored uh, they become they begin to pop a little bit now in general this will be sort of a dark-ish mysterious looking sunflower it's not bright and happy like, like so many sunflower paintings out there are. Uh, this is a bit different, but uh, uh, I love being able to just sort of keep things toned down and then lay in just, just some brush strokes. I may only have 20 brush strokes for this entire head, you know? Very few will go up here. And I'm probably, see, I'm probably going to lighten up the the uh, the petals from about here to here in varying degrees maybe just the tips of them right here so we'll have these will be toned down i don't want high intensity colors you know a few inches from the edge of my canvas that will uh, distract you from looking at the focal area so i will probably introduce a bit more light here so we'll have a bit of light here bridging over to here then here and alternating you know bits of light here uh, and then that will spill onto the top of this head as well and come down the side and then that will also spill down onto this one so you have that will also help with the waterfall effect uh, probably more difficult to explain for me than it will be to paint it so I'll get to that uh, I'm probably not going to load it tonight I I might load it. To, I might load it up. I might uh, uh, load it up on the internet tomorrow. But um, oddly enough, it doesn't look like a big change from the last video. 
but it's been quite a few hours of work and uh, I didn't want to take you along for the pain of that because it's frankly it's pretty boring stuff I would guess anyway for content I know I said I didn't want to do 500 videos of this painting and, and there still are going to be a lot more than I thought they were going to but uh, yeah I'll upload, I'll upload the leaf thing and my little explanation here and I might get some done tonight on the pedals uh, and I'll show you that tomorrow, if not next week. Have a good evening, have a good weekend, talk to you soon, bye.